Imagine you need to send payment reminders to 50 clients or even updates to 200 conference participants. Doing that one by one in WhatsApp would take hours, but Excel can do it in seconds. Yes, you heard me right. Let me show you how to turn Excel into your personal WhatsApp assistant. Here's the secret behind this whole system. WhatsApp has a special link format that automatically opens a chat with any phone number. It's made up of three parts. WA.me is WhatsApp's API link. Then the phone number with country code, no spaces and no special characters, and then your message. And we can build that inside Excel automatically. I'll also provide a country code reference list in the template download. Let's test it out. First, we need to open our browser and go to api.whatsapp.com to download the WhatsApp app to our PC. Then follow the instructions to link the desktop app to your WhatsApp account. Now to send a message, simply type the WhatsApp link in your browser. So https colon forward slash forward slash wa.me forward slash and then the phone number question mark text equals and then your message and any spaces you need to add plus signs in there so you can see I've done it before hello from Excel press enter this opens the WhatsApp desktop app there's my message ready to send click the send button or press enter to send it job done easy huh now that we know how it works let's use Excel to auto generate the messages I've prepared a customer list of balances due to demonstrate how you can use this in a real business scenario. And we've got a range of customers from different countries and you'll notice each phone number starts with the country code, no plus sign and no spaces or dashes as required by WhatsApp. By the way, these are all fake numbers, but I've blurred them out just in case one of them turns out to be real. Using the data here, I can construct a clickable URL using the hyperlink function. I'll create a WhatsApp link manually to show you how the hyperlink function works. So inside double quotes, I need to put in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash WA.me, that's WhatsApp's URL, forward slash, then the phone number, followed by a question mark and then text equals, and I'll say, hello, Bill, your balance of 150 is due on November 15th. Please contact us to arrange payment. Close double quotes, close hyperlink, Let's test it out. Left click once. This opens the WhatsApp app and you can see my message here is ready to send. All I need to do is press enter. But going back to Excel, we don't really want to type all this out manually because that's exactly why people hate doing bulk messaging. Imagine typing this for a hundred customers. Instead, we'll tell Excel to grab the information automatically from our columns. So I'm going to replace the hard keyed phone number in here with a link to the cell. So I'm going to add a double quote and then and I'm going to reference the phone number and then we're going to join it back to the question mark text. So we're going to use another double quote and then hello is going to be standard in all our messages. So I'm going to double quote there and then instead of typing out the name, we're going to and reference the cell and then the rest of the message, your balance of 150. Well, that's going to be custom. So we're going to Add another double quote there to close the text and we're going to reference the balance due. Joining that back to the text is due on. Now we want the date to be picked up from the cell. So we'll get rid of that hard key text there. So we want to and reference that cell there and double quotes for the rest of the text. Press enter. And you can see our message is auto generated. But notice the date is showing up as a number. That's the date serial number rather than it formatted as a date. So to fix that, we can wrap the reference to cell D2 in the text function. And that allows us to specify a format. So let's make the format the day followed by the month name and then the year. Close double quotes on my format. Close text. Press enter. Now we get a proper date. We can also do this for the dollar amount. So instead of just putting in the number, we'll use the text function to format this as a currency. So we want dollar sign hash comma hash hash zero dot zero zero. That's going to give us thousand separators and a dollar sign and two decimal places. Close parentheses on text. And now we get our number properly formatted. Let's double click to copy it down. And there we have all our messages automatically generated. Let's test it out. There's our message ready to send. All I need to do is press enter. Okay, right now all our customers have the same message type, but what if you need different messages for different situations? Let me show you how you can create a drop-down system. 
Here in column H, we have payment reminders, appointment reminders, promotional offers, and thank you messages. And notice how David has appointment reminder, and James has promotional offer, and William has a thank you message. Let's add a drop down menu in this column just to make it consistent and allow us to easily change the messages. So I'm going to go date validation, and in here I want a list, and I'm just going to type in my different list options. So there I have thank you message, promotional offer, payment reminder and appointment reminder. Click OK and now we can change them easily. Next we'll construct the link and I use the hyperlink function. Now I need four different messages depending on the message template selected in column H. So I can use this switch function to return the relevant template. The expression, the first argument, is simply the value in column H. If that value is payment reminder then my message which I'll paste in is simply going to be hello and then referencing cell A2 to get the name. Your balance of whatever the balance is in cell C2 is due on the date in D2. Please contact us to arrange payment. But if the message template is appointment reminder then we get a different message. I'm just going to paste it in and this one's going to be hi whatever the name is in cell A2 reminder your and then the service type appointment is scheduled for whatever the appointment date is in F2 formatted as a day and time. Please confirm or reschedule if needed. You get the idea so I'll pause while I finish the others. Okay that's the formula completed. You can see we've got payment reminder, appointment reminder, promotional offer and thank you message and the relevant message will be returned based on the message template selected in column 8. Okay, that's the formula completed. Now if you want a more in-depth tutorial on the switch function, the link is here and in the video description. So I'm going to copy the formula down and we can see this one formula has generated four different messages. We've got payment reminders, we've got appointment reminders, promotional offers and thank you messages. So you can see the switch function simply looks at the message template and returns the relevant message. By the way, you can grab this file and it also includes a list of all the country codes from the link in the video description. So now that you've automated your customer communication, you want to automate even more. And to get you started, I've created a complete guide that will get you up and running creating your own macros and VBA to take your Excel skills to pro level. So check out this video next. I'll see you there.